I have the idea, um, I either create the idea on my own and hand deliver it to the artist, or I work it through the artist by meeting with them and get 60% of their nugget and I leave and I put it into something. Yeah. Um, that would be, I collaborate with the artist. I don't get into a lottery ticket, write a treatment, and let's hope for potluck. Did I get it against 15 other directors? No, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. That's just throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think uh, that is another distinguish between me and you and like other people. When you're closer with the artist, the label, one, they, they don't see it as like a threat or like intimidating mm -hmm. or anything, but like, when you're friends with the boss, and they are the boss, they sure. say what Absolutely. goes. Uh, yeah, that there's there's a lot of power in that. Yeah, and, and a lot I, of labels don't like that. I've dealt with that, yeah. you know, so many times where, you know, uh, label or management is like, hey, uh, we we don't we want you to do something like this, and then I run it by him, and he's like, that's stupid, you know. Yeah. Or I'm like, well, what about this idea? And they shut it down, and then I go to him, and I'm like. What about this idea? And he goes, <laughs> we're doing that. Yeah, that's been more of my, my, the latter part of like seven years or so. Labels have told them, they go, go get with the artist. They mm -hmm. want to, the artist has recommended you. We want a, for, a, a formal introduction that we want to do this. So can you, when you talk to the artist, uh, let us know what you guys have planned. Well, that's this, kind of what it's become. This is big for, again, it's, it would be good to have a, somebody from the business side to, to be on this is that, they should learn that. They should know that there's power in relationship mm -hmm. to get the best out of what they need. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah, a lot of the times they think with me, they think I'm driving up the budget to drive up the budget. I mean, it always comes down to numbers. Right. You know, and that's what the label's there for. Yeah. They, there is money. They're a bank. They are distributing money for the, the advertising of a product that they have. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know... You have to shape your career. You do. You don't just wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to call the shots. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I can. I do I, a lot. Mm -hmm. But I also do it in harmony with what they want as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? The yeah. artists know that I have their back. But I'm also an ear to what they, the, the client needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so I mean. It's but, important to have that balance. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it is a balance because yeah. they are writing the check and everybody needs to be moving in that way. But I have noticed that it is becoming even in, even in the production side of things, it's the budgets are much less and they want more, mm -hmm. and that's that's it's really hard to do. But again, to go back to that, the concept of and that is where you should pride yourself on. That's where mm -hmm. I pride myself on is being having that. It's always been the relationship with the artist. The art. There's the reason why you get the picture in the room yes. and not right when he walks out. Absolutely. And there is a difference between those two pictures. Absolutely. There's, a, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, and I hope all creatives, like, understand that. And I hope all, um, anybody in the business should know that. I think uh, I always said that even, not just on your side, but even on my side, I always said it's 80% of who you are. Of course. You, if you aren't chill, easy to work with, mm -hmm. passionate, fucking, uh, again, if you're not a friend of the artist, they're not going to want you around. Mm -hmm. Then you're replaceable. Um, and obviously, you need to be good at your job, but um, I've always said that. That's, like, super important. Ian Tongi said something, the, the uh, American Idol, when I was just with him yeah. overseas, and he said to his best friend, nonchalantly, he goes, do you know what I like about, you know what I love about Spidey? And I'm sitting here, and he's telling his friend, he's like, because he's so passionate a bit about what he does. I love that about him. Yeah. You know, and that's, you know, I, I do pride myself on that. Like, I really, just like even this last weekend shooting Hardy, I had a blast. And I, I looked at it from a surgical standpoint. I had, I had, I had to perform. I have to, why, why are you hiring me? Mm-hmm. You want something different. We had that. We had that talk. Mm -hmm. I, gotta, I gotta deliver that something different. I gotta. I gotta do something different. What is it? You know. And I think that even in and of itself is helpful mm -hmm. because it gets you. Like I tell my son when he's swimming. You know, he's for these competitions. If you're not nervous on the blocks, it doesn't. It's not. Doesn't mean anything to you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
That's what yeah. that's I mean that's what it feels like to me. I but the interesting thing as we talk about content versus production, I'm seeing the squeeze. And the reason why I wanted you on is because I'm even me who lived through the film era who said, "Oh, film's not going to die. Yeah. Video digital's not going to take over. Yeah. Film's not going to go away." Yeah. Well, that happened. You know, and, and, and now I'm at this point where I, I said way back with content, I'm not shooting content. I did with Dean's team. When they wanted me to shoot all the stuff for the, on the tour, I'm like, whoa, 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 what do you want? To, we don't just shoot photos to, you know? Mm -hmm. And over the course of, you know, <laughs> I guess the business and times, I have learned it, there is a shift. I, I, I myself am moving, the waters are moving me into the content space. I think the shift. Is that the new new? Like well, you didn't mention music videos once yeah. in your quest to where you are now. Yeah. And you came up through the YouTube DIY, do your stuff, you know. Blah, blah, that. I lived off music yes. videos. I loved them. But you have no desire because I feel like, is it, is it, is it a medium that still has um, I think, I think maybe promise? I don't know. Maybe I like, young I like to do one, but I also... It's what you said. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. You know what I mean? And I've been on set where it's discouraging when they're like, we're going to give you X amount, not what you want, it's half of what you want, not even. And we need you to do all this shit. And when it gets, and we need you to do more on top of that, and we need it done by tomorrow morning, that doesn't excite me at all. No. That. You're not being warned. You're not 